Hello, this is Dr. Imran and welcome to another interesting lecture of the course Electrical Engineering Fundamentals. We will cover the following topics in this lecture and these are Electrical Network and Electrical Circuits, the Ohm's Law, Nodes and Paths in a Circuit. So let's start. What is an electrical network? The interconnection of two or more simple circuit elements such as resistors, capacitors, inductors, voltage sources or current sources, etc. is termed as an electrical network as shown by this figure. You can see that this figure has four circuit elements 1, 2, 3 and 4 while it also has an independent voltage source as shown by this symbol. If a network which contains at least one active element such as an independent voltage or current source then that network can be termed as an active network. So this circuit can be termed as an active network because it has an one independent voltage source as shown by the symbol. So if a network which does not contain any active element then such a network can be termed as a passive network. What is an electric circuit? If a network contains at least one closed path, then it is called as an electric circuit as shown by this figure. It consists of two circuit elements, one independent voltage source as shown by this symbol and one circuit element as shown by this symbol. While this circuit also has one closed path as shown. So what is the difference between the electrical network and electrical circuits. You can see that this network has four circuit elements but it does not have any closed path. While you can see that this network has a two circuit elements, this one and this one, it also has a one closed path. So a circuit or network which has at least one closed path will be called as an electric circuit while a network which has circuit elements but it does not have a closed path so such a network will be called an electrical network. What is Ohm's law? Ohm's law states that the voltage across any conducting material such as a resistor is directly proportional to the current flowing through that material or resistor. We consider this figure there is one an independent voltage source and it is connected to across a resistor R supplying current I across this resistor R. So the voltage and current relationship across this resistor can be shown by this formula V is equal to Ri while V is the voltage of this independent voltage source and I is the current across this resistor R. The voltage and current relationship across this resistor can be shown by this figure. If we take voltage at X axis and current I on Y axis then there will be a linear relationship between the voltage and the current across this resistor. If voltage increases, then the current will increase across this resistor accordingly. We take an example in order to understand about the Ohm's law. A 560 ohm resistor is connected to a circuit which causes a current of 42.4 mA to flow through it. So calculate the voltage across the resistor and the power it is dissipating. We take this circuit for this example. Consider this resistor is 560 ohm while the current flowing through this resistor is 42.4 mA. So we use Ohm's law as shown by this relation V is equal to Ri. We have uh, the resistor value 560 ohm and we have the current value 0.02 ampere. Hence the voltage across the resistor is 23.7 volt. We can also find power drop across this resistor by using this formula P is equal to Vi. We have the voltage V which is 23.7 volt and we have the current I which is 42.4 mA. Hence the power drop across this resistor is 1.005 watt. Alternatively we can also find the power by using this formula P is equal to V square or R. We have the voltage drop across this resistor which is 23.7 volt while we have the resistance of this resistor which is 560 ohm. Hence by putting values of voltage in R we can have the power 1.007 volt across this resistor. What is node in a circuit? 
A point at which two or more elements have a common connection is called node. For example, this figure shows a circuit containing three nodes. Node 1, which is this one, node 2, which is this one, and node 3, which is this one. Node 1 has a common connection to four circuit element, that is for independent current source I, for resistor R1, for resistor R2, and for resistor R3. The node 2 has a common point for four circuit element, that is for current source, for resistor R1, for resistor R2, and for resistor R4. While a node 3 shows a common point for circuit element resistor R3 and resistor R4. What is a path or loop in a circuit? We consider this circuit element in order to understand about a path or loop in a circuit. Suppose that we start at one node in a network and move through a simple element to the node at the other end. We then continue from that node through a different element to the next node and continue this moment until we have gone through as many as elements as we wish. If the node at which we started is the same as the node on which we ended, then the path is by definition a path or a loop. We consider this circuit, so it has three paths, one this path or loop, one this path or loop or one this path or loop. So this is the end of this video. Make sure to subscribe and like this channel and thanks for watching.